So I know a bit about this so far. I did see, I've seen some other streamers play this. I've seen, I think, pretty sure I saw Clara do a bit of this. McGweeb has been playing a lot of this. I can swear I've seen a couple other people getting into it as well. Like either, I'm not super sure. It was either Bananasaurus Rex or um, one of the other streamers I've been watching here and there recently. And it's, I found it a bit hard to understand at a glance. So I didn't want to jump on it right away until I had time to really look at it. Is wallowing in your need for a decent Star Wars RPG? Maybe. Do you, does it need to be Star Wars? There's probably a lot of good ones not tied to a major IP. Alright, let's see. Let's just go ahead and get in there. After making you guys wait for so long. The stars in the sky are going out. One by one. Hey, wait a second. I played a game that had that problem recently. Which one of these is just like advance? Oh, here we go, okay. But no one but no one notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before before it is too late. Oof. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. I've seen you a lot, this this dude. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing everything back, there will always be someone who's willing to do the impossible. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except for this path. So I have put one thing together with a little bit that I've seen of this game so far. This is the loop, and you're the. This is your hero. That's that's. See, I'm a genius. I figured it out. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he, did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good. Uh, won't do me any good, I guess. Press the switch to change between adventure, traveling, and planning. Stop. Okay. Right click or space. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Well, I, I thought maybe I'd be told to pause. I hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall. If such a thing as night still exists without a sky, of course. Pay attention to day progress to the day progress bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. A living ball of slime, quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my freshen up my memory, and everything will go back to normal. Traveling, fighting, and most other actions are done automatically. The player can't affect them directly. Okay. Alright. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the remains of, of this thing. Uh, that's not fully digested. You have an inventory and item slot. You know what to do. Okay. I think I remember that there was a grove nearby. Are these even my memories, or do they belong to that slime? You can use cards that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Drag the card to a suitable place. To remember it, okay. 5% chance of spawning a slime once a day. Alright. And yeah, Joe, the hat kind of looks something like half between a conqu conquistador helmet and then like a, uh... Almost like a tricorny kind of hat, or, or... 
It's kind of halfway. Forest rat wolf. I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten. Like a bad dream. Or remembered as a bad... Damn. It's good that nobody was listening. You can get new items and cards during battle, as you've probably already noticed. Some items have unique abilities, as do most of the cards. By hovering over a card, you can inspect its properties. Equip a new weapon, and place a new card on the map to continue. Is this a better one? Yep. Oh, and it, yeah, it's just damage to all. I've seen a bit of this in um, watching some other people stream this. So some of like you have a little bit of cleave on, on every hit. I wonder if you have like so the, all the battles are, are automatic. I wonder if there's any sort of like priority system. Like, do you always know to attack the biggest target, or do you always pick the most favorable one, or is it just like whichever one's in front? Or is the layout important at all for enemies? Nobody knows who or what could be lurking inside it. Additional attack speed. More HP. More HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. Okay. Oh, some of these can only be placed now? Hmm. Well, if I'm looking for... Does it say it does anything else? Oh, well, in that case, I'll probably want to put the mountain somewhere where I can stack stuff next to it. It's more attack speed. This seems like I should, t I should put this somewhere else. If it doesn't spawn enemies, why don't I just put it over here? Great. So there was a mountain over there, and here's a forest. The world is just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Is this a roguelite? My understanding is that it... I'm pretty sure it is. But I've had such... Like... Watching some of this game from afar... Like, watching people stream it and not, not having the first-hand experience, it was difficult to kind of digest what I was looking at. For me, it was just like icon, like a bunch of random icons over to one side. Some auto battles happens, and the characters seem to be on a track, and that's all I really got when I was watching it. Um, I had to really kind of like pay attention to uh, to even understand what I was looking at when other people were streaming it, and that's why I wanted to do the demo before really diving in. Even with roguelites, good play can counter bad luck, since good play isn't exactly possible in this game. Uh, well, I think. I think we're, we're the like the so it's not just like the game just happens on its own and you have nothing you can do. I think a lot of it ends up being things like where you place your your terrain and which items you prefer. I, I'm sure there's a lot more to this than just running around and letting things happen. Um, especially because like I've seen the, what there just there definitely seems to be some significant decision making. It's just you're not really doing it as part of the battle itself. So it's more entirely based on your overarching decision making and not as much on for example like snap quick accurate you know swing timing for a weapon or whatever some of your actions will yield will yield your resources that you will need further on but not right now but that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now Doesn't necessarily say, but it seems that, yeah, stable wood, deserve rock, yeah. So not only do these, for example, give you an initial benefit, not only do they have like a synergi synergistic benefit, like, you know, more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain, um, but like the forest here, which does nothing else visually, like it just gives you additional attack speed, um, I guess every single one of these, maybe after a loop or something, after you camp, heals 20% HP upon entering. Every time you make a loop is probably when you get more resources. I think. You know, it could be maybe when you pass across. I don't know, I need to pay more attention to this. Continue your journey by changing the game mode, yeah. Not when you rest. 
I think it's time to have some rest. The game itself is a journey on a looped path. Only you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to the camp. Either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. You can retreat almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do it. Retreat to the camp by pressing the button. Thought of leaving the battlefield and going back to your cozy camp has passed through your minds. What a timely idea. The camp is just around the corner. Keep all resources. More about target priority. Yeah, I think the, the more like item decisions, I think, probably affect more about like how your combat goes. For example, like if I'm fighting one big enemy and a lot of small ones, I might want a lot more de uh, a lot more damage to all, but I still want to have a big hit or something. You know, wh whatever it ends up being, I don't, I don't, I don't quite know what this is going to end up being. Like what all the different effects you're going to get are going to be. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both of these problems. Nice place to set up camp. That's when all. Resources you've gathered will come in handy. Who could have thought? You just ha you have just enough wooded stones to make a campfire. What a nice coincidence. Build a campfire using the building function while in a map. Press the build button. Okay. And this is probably going to reveal the next loop. Or not. Congratulations, you've beaten this annoying tutorial. Now you can start. You can now start your first expedition. Or not. Do as you wish. I guess not. I don't know. I don't, like this. this it seems to me there's a whole other. Yeah. You have a whole other set of things you're building that seem to not have anything to do with going out. Here restores 20% of his max HP upon entering the campfire. Unlocks the swamp card. Yeah, these are like across your, your multiple runs of the game, these seem to be like permanent upgrades, not available in the demo. <laughs> okay. Field kitchen. 10% to the campfire's healing power. Yeah. Okay, so then in that case, then, all of the random materials you're getting, then, are just unlocking additional cards and stuff. This path. Everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions even have any meaning? I have a choice. If one needed to give up and cry to save the world, I would be the worst savior of all. Let's do it. All my gear's gone. Yeah, it doesn't say where you should place these. So it seems like I should place this somewhere non-distinct. Because putting stuff in the center might be important. Having stuff that can connect to other stuff would be important. I should kind of put this out of the way for now. Spider Cocoon. So these I think I can only place, yeah, next to... Yeah, I wonder how you... I wonder how many different rules there are for where you can place everything. On an adjacent tile once per day, so if I want to do a lot of combat, I can do something like this. If I don't want to do a lot of combat, I probably want to put the, the nasty stuff like this instead. So this would give me, like... This would give me five tiles where I could... Well, four tiles, not the camp. Um, yeah, this would give me five tiles that I could possibly get... a spider on.
wonder if they have like a speed option. Like like if you wanted to skip to the next fight. I'm sure once the map is really busy, it's not gonna matter. I'll be fighting all the time. What is this? A bit of the Lich's magic causes anything to be totally forgotten. Erases any established tiles. Oh, uh, erases monsters from the road. Interesting. Five HP for each ad adjacent rocker mountain. I'm putting that down. Yeah, big boost. Spawn the skeleton every three days. And this says it doesn't really matter where it goes either. This doesn't say like adjacent tile, this and that. Well, let's do this. Let's put this um Oh, and these have to be, right, right. These ones have to be on the on the road. Uh let's let's hold off and, and just like fight what we've got and make her loop around. It's probably really easy to accidentally put too much stuff on the map too quickly. Oh right, we've got uh, forgive reading about all this this equipment too. Evasion, more max HP. Now no longer punching things. Increases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. Huh. I don't know if I need to worry about that yet. Get to see how scary this guy was going to be in a bit. What did I even pick up? I got. We got rations. Twelve for a whole food supply. I'm not. I'm guessing you maybe like you get twelve, and then it becomes an item, like a healing item. Ten pieces of pebbles for one preserved rock. Okay. All right. All right. Then in that case, then those would just show up. Like once you get. These are basically smaller versions of the stuff that you'll get full versions of for your inventory later. Ooh, health regen? Yeah, let's go. I'd rather have that than that I would have evasion. Whoa, wait a second. Okay, so yeah, you okay, that's interesting. So you unequip stuff and you you discard it, you can't even swap. Seems like it anyways. That's going to be a concern. That's something I have to, to make sure that I'm aware of. More defense. Even better defense. I wonder what's happening when I get rid of these. Like, maybe I could sell them or deconstruct them later on. You're like, what, what, would I, what would I want to do with this? Is, I wonder if there's durability or something. Nothing that I see yet. Ooh. Okay, spiders aren't that difficult. Not yet, at least. I wonder what drives how many items you get out of each encounter. Oh, I don't have any magic yet. I were well, no, I do. It just kills everything, like anything I want to choose to kill. Yeah, I should hold on to this. 
because what will probably happen is that maybe Oblivion will come in handy if I'm like getting close to the camp and about to die and I need this clear space on my way to it. Ooh, big damage. And counter damage, too. I wonder what the... what the... do I just have three of these? No? Maybe it's like a, a, an item level? Oh, here we go, yeah, yeah. Well, no. I wonder if this is just art, like, art on the... for the UI, or does this mean that I've lost her ability for something? I gotta pay attention to this. I I wouldn't be surprised if maybe there is something that makes, makes you want to hold on to items for later. The boss of this chapter will appear on the campfire tile. So I got a ways to go. A worthless landmark in a world with no directions. 40% movement speed within its range. 20% attack speed for all the units. It's an interesting trade-off. It basically, like, a beacon might be better if you have, like, lots of AoE attacks. I don't know. I mean, this... It's such, so difficult to, to... to understand whether I think that would be a good idea or not to do right away. More spiders. Yeah, I think this doesn't necessarily have a higher chance per adjacent tile. So putting a spider cocoon here could be okay. But maybe there are tiles that are like maybe there's better places to put other items there. I'm probably going to hit a point at some point where, like, soon, where I'd probably want to get these lanterns down, especially if I put, like, another spider cocoon down, and suddenly I'm overwhelmed. Let's, let's push it. Let's put some more stuff down. Put what we can. And at least I have an option to get rid of some of this stuff, if it comes down to it. Thick walls guard all types of bridges from thieves and their previous owners. Gives random resource after placing anything on an adjacent tile. Can't be built adjacent to anything. Okay. So yeah. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So they even... So the placement indicators... So some games will have placement indicators where they would show them even if other stuff in the area is blocking it. Maybe they'd just be red. This one is like, nah. Everything is, everything is removed from the list. Except for valid tiles. So yeah, okay, so I should probably place this over here. And away from my stack of mountains and stuff. Ooh, I'm not really- oh! I was about to say, I wasn't really sure what I did there. Um... Interesting. So if you, I guess, put a bunch of similar tiles together, you get a big giant combo tile. 120 HP, more max HP, more HP for every adjacent mountain and rock tile. Spawns a harpy every two days. That's... So it's interesting. So basically, there it's kind of auto... auto scaling up the game. Like, you're, you have more HP and everything, sure, but they're also adding more risk and stuff as you go. Camp that came out of nowhere. 
I wonder if if that's a regular thing, like every long while or so, enemy tiles will just show up. And I wonder what would drive that. I got another Oblivion, that's good. Where am I? Oh, I'm so far away from that camp though. Wanted to see if I can get some more HP sooner. Let's let this go. Let's let this play out. And, you know, before I do, actually, let's, um... Yeah, no, let's, let's just wait. Can I fit another ring? No. I'll stick with this. Get that minor HP buff. Defense in the shield. <laughs> oh, you know what might be going on? Maybe these items are just stacking on their own if you don't equip them. I think that skeleton got a crit on me, or no, maybe it just hits really hard. Get. Am I just gonna get? They say random resources. Oh yeah, yeah. They can start giving you more of your. Um... More re just more of whatever resource you would get from it, plus some other stuff. So yeah, the the we we combined some of the pebbles into a rock. Noticeable change. This is enough to turn a caterpillar into a butterfly, a seed into a sprout, or a drop of water into steam. Will turn itself into something else too if you collect enough of it. Interesting. Okay, so in that case, then you have basically a you have a collectible that is just a just a random a random reward. And I wonder if it's something out of the pool of regular stuff like rock and and wooden stuff. I probably should have built the meadow into an... Instead of being like this weird thing, not knowing what to do with it, I should have just made this do like a nine square block. Pretty soon, I'm, I, I, I could see myself wanting to make these, these beacons and stuff. Or the lanterns, I should say. My, my health is not covering big enough. mess. I, I should probably use Oblivion on those because pretty soon what's going to end up happening is that I'm probably going to hit a point where this whole mess is like one more day goes by and this is just going to be a scary thing. Uh, let's let's hold off though until I get really low and I'll just use both of them. Like if I have to clear stuff out sooner than later I will. I want to see if I can make the loop around. I'm, I'm trying to eyeball these as they're upgrading. That is way better. I have so much HP now, I should probably just say screw it and just go go counter or evasion or something. The regen is not gonna help anymore. More damage to all. I think I'm going to be attacking some pretty pretty hefty groups as I go. I might want to stack damage to all a bit more. Hmm. One of these one of the other ones had counter, right? No. Let's try this. Or what, what, what do I have currently? This is counter. Let's hold off. But I will put on the big armor now. It's 
stop. Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remembered ourselves. Now give us all you got. Ah, you have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me to restore order in this world first, and then you can do anything you want to. Goblin must rob. No other order in the world. Fair enough. Guess I don't have any valid objection there. Oh wait, I do have one. How about... I cast fist. It's strange how these creatures appear here on their own. Maybe it means that everything is actually not so bad and the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. That's some hefty... That's some hefty HP. Because I can't tell if there's any real durability, I'm gonna go for it. That way when I get to the camp, we'll get a lot of extra HP out of it. No! What do you mean, no? You wanna save the world? You wanna ask for help? Our answer is no. How did you... But why no? We see far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there has been just emptiness instead of the sky. But it doesn't stop us from seeing. Your saving of the world is one-sided and two up front. Each person sees his own way of saving the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine. I don't really understand it, but tell me your version. What does it mean to save the world to you? My progeny and my kin, for it to be strong and to live. It's part of the cycle of life and death. It is life itself. It is the world. I will kill you and feed your remains to my starving younglings, and life will go on. And how many lives does your blade give birth to by killing again and again? Only one. I don't want you or your children to die from starvation. Please try to see reason. If my mission succeeds, harpies can have all the sky and all the hunting grounds they need. I can't feed my children with your beautiful words. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> that was that. Three swings. I feel awful. By fixing one evil, I'm becoming a source of another. There is no home for harpies except the highest mountains, but there's no food there. I can't imagine how they managed to survive if their mountain was simply cut out of reality. I'm fixing it. I, hey, I built a pretty hefty nice mountain already. Oh, this is worrisome. So, can I, like, equip shit in the meantime? Vampirism, 11%. It's a ring. Instead of counter? I'm gonna try that and just see how good it is, and maybe this is the end. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can really do here. I'm getting teeny bits of health back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make it to camp. That works. I'm hoping vampirism stacks with damage to all or something. Ooh, and regen per second? No counter, but I'll take it. Here. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting three extra per swing and probably a little bit extra as well. Oh, you know what? I need to start. And there's the harpies. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering what the spawn looked like for these things. My meadow. Uh, I want to use the rocks as fodder for this. I should have built at the very corner here. Or I don't know, I would have hamstrung me early on. Fine. Put it over there, get a little more max HP. Oop, hey, wait, we got a grove. Spawns a rat wolf every two days, the wolf can move to an adjacent tile. Doesn't seem to do anything else, though. So I guess in this case, 
I can't throw away tiles, so it just comes down to like maybe placing them as conservatively as I can, unless I can kill stuff quick. I wonder what that's going to end up meaning then. I wonder if that means that I do magic damage on, on like defending, or if I do magic damage like my like I have some other spell that can do it. Maybe I'll get like a, a weapon that has magic damage built in or something. Or maybe it just means that my weapon is now enchanted, <laughs> or, or something. Like damage to all is just arbitrary and just gives you extra damage on every attack. Definitely don't quite understand the inventory situation yet. Ooh. That is... That is hefty. I don't get the evasion, but I get more regen and stuff. Can I, like, just throw these away? No. Yeah, I think you're forced to cycle through stuff. So the, I think what there might be is something like, there may not necessarily be durability, but you'll never be able to get to upgrade new stuff unless you use the older stuff. At least for a little bit. Yeah, stuff. I think stuff's just cycling out. Or I'm, 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 I ever like when I'm. I should turn my head away from the the combat in order to watch the inventory and see what's actually happening. Yeah, these might just be like one will come in and everything just works out. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna commit to watching the inventory and see what happens. Yeah. 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 So. These are these are sorting in, and one just dropped off, and then became, I guess, metal, scrap metal. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Sometimes this is all that remains from a sword or armor that you haven't looked at for a while. Okay, that that is way better than I can keep any new stuff, and I don't have to worry so much. Adds vampires to battles on adjacent, adjacent tiles. I'll hold off. I'm gonna lose Oblivion or something soon. If this follows the same setup where it just starts discarding cards in some order, then uh, unless I can I can rearrange these. No. Yeah. I, so if I want to keep stuff on the left, maybe either I can't get new stuff, or the old stuff's gonna start shuffling out. That's a hefty. And I get more vampirism too. I'll lose the magic damage, but I'm fine with that. You're getting way more aggressive. I feel like they're attacking faster. I'm, I'm fighting stuff well enough. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Can I get 20% more from the camp? I'm already starting to recover. I feel like I have to start placing stuff. Yeah, now there's now there's like no gap between these. And I wonder what happens at that point. Like, will it, will it complain and tell you you're, you're full? It's 
lot of spiders. Let's do it for science. Let's just let a card show up and see what, what it makes you do. Oh, yep, I lost an Oblivion and it became a... It became a memory fragment. Ten fragments form a complete book of memories. Okay, so yeah, I, I will start losing stuff, but I do get a resource, so I'm not... In that case, I'm not super worried, then. I have another Oblivion. The enemies aren't... The enemies aren't... Overwhelming yet. Oh, another treasury. I'm gonna end up filling up this map, though. Fine fighting rat wolves. I think I fought a few before. More vampirism on the shield. Less defense. Not by much, though. Oh, hold off. It's probably better to get scrap at this point. Yeah, looking at my max H or my, my HP regen relative to my max, like I'll I can finish a loop for free. While the chest at the start of each loop, enemies and adjacent tiles can become ghosts. Oh, here we go, yeah. Ghosts seem like a concern, though. Like, I would probably need magic damage to deal with that. And I have, like, none. So I'll, I'll wait. That doesn't seem like the best idea. Do some more spiders, though. They, they're easy to kill. Vampires and skeletons. Vampires and... Rat wolves or whatever. Yeah, I'm fine explore like let's go ahead and explore this. Let's see if this becomes like a super scary proposition. Yeah, I'm already back to max HP. I'm not even back to the camp yet. Yeah, let's pump up the jams, get a bunch of rat wolves figured out. Or no, these are wastelands. These are... Or what is this? No, yeah, these are rat wolves. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the uh, the, the base tiles are your, your slimes, yeah. Okay. What was that? It rages after an ally dies, okay. I like that it auto pauses when you hover over stuff. Uh, do I want to lose my vampirism? I probably am going to need magic damage. Especially if ghosts show up. I've been playing too safe. Nothing scary right now. Well, I mean, that might be a case where you want to put down the, the beacons. That must be what it is. This is basically what you use to speed up the game. That must be it. this be? 
We'll, we'll do it after the camp, and that way I'll have a rocket out of the gate. Maybe another one here, too, to get me there sooner. Watch this be a terrible idea. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Man, I got a lot of stuff off of that. I think it I think it just takes I think these resources show up every like while or so. I don't know there's game speed. Um I think it might show up. It's not every loop. I don't know what the timing is on these. Oh, oh. Once this fight is over, I want to see what I've got in my inventory. Way more regen. I probably don't really need vampirism at that point. I'm getting that kind of regen. Way more attack speed. Kind of like this. I, yeah, yeah, maybe it wasn't a bad, maybe that wasn't the best of ideas, though, because Vampirism has been pretty strong for me. I want to be able to equip more of this stuff. I wonder if uh, this is stuff that shows up in, like, in the main game and it's just not in the demo. my region my well I have my my vampirism back off human a vampire where are your lands if your farmers need help I would be glad to offer it no more lands no more flock only hundreds of years of emptiness and hundreds of years of hunger Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me. And then I will see this. I will set this crumbled world right. Right. I'm doing this not for just myself, but for everyone, in the name of good. So be grateful for my hard work, and just let me bleed you dry. Are you a well, you well, I was gonna say maybe boss. I'm, I'm getting some hefty damage for sure, but they're not. Ooh, that's some hefty vampirism. I might put the, this is good. Yeah, I'll, I, I'm kind of want my vampirism more than anything else. My damage to the skeleton has gone down to like nothing. Magic damage, attack speed, and evasion. I might do that because it's going to increase my vampirism as well. I'm gonna lose a little bit of regen to do this, but that's fine. Vampires often owned, their, owned our lands. They kept the peace and helped our settlements to prosper. But this won't do at all. Now they are just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally, apparently. Uh, apparently, the blood of other creatures doesn't make good sustenance. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that just stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Okay, that explains the, the extra... the vampirism on the skeleton there. Also, that's kind of pointing out now that they... 
part of what I had to pay attention to now with all these creatures is they probably confer benefits to everything else. Or like the goblins, an ally nearby dies and they get more damage. Oh, yeah, there's another vampire. Luckily, I'm focusing on them first. More vampires. Well, not, not enough. More defense. Yeah. I might need to put down one of those, um, one of those lanterns soon. Nah. Uh, I should, I may, let me not speed the game up while I'm at significant risk. Counter evasion. This is a pretty good dagger. It's not a lot of damage to all, but maybe I'll. It's so much stronger though. And counter. Way faster. Like if I had um. That's just really good. I'd get vampirism way faster. I would just take a lot more hits. I don't know. This is probably overall way better. Because... Do I have uh, much attack damage to all? I have none. So I gotta... I think overall this is still better. Because I got a lot of vampirism. And all kill enemies quicker to get them out of the way. Like, that should probably, like, net have a payoff. Let's kill enemies one at a time, but very, very fast. Don't need that. wonder why this one turned into a mountain peak and the other ones haven't yet. Maybe it takes time. Lots of magic damage. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I'm gonna fight ghosts, I probably need magic. The counter invasion is so good, though. The counter and the invasion evasion on this is so good that I don't want to risk it. They're all gonna get way stronger soon, too. Yeah. Do they get more than one buff? No, it doesn't stack, okay, but the entire group gets stronger for a bit. Way more counter. Blooming Meadow. Flowers get a feel for the world and react. I wonder what makes them bloom, just putting other stuff next to, uh... It could be having other tiles... Um... Attached. Like, maybe meadows need to be filler tiles between other things. Getting pretty close to camp, which is... <laughs> gonna be really important very soon.
more vampirism, and some regen. I'm gonna take this instead of the attack speed. Doesn't seem like the best idea. I want that hefty vampirism. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm getting like 10 almost every second. That, that, that should help a bit. That should get me into a decent spot. Yeah, that makes them bloom, yeah. And it's instant, it doesn't like, it doesn't eventually bloom, it does, it's not something you're, you're planting ahead of time. Hey Carson, handy tip if I decide I like it, my demo progress carries over to the full game. That's good, that's good to hear. Thir yeah. I'm occasionally out healing the damage they're doing to me. Well, occasionally I am. I'm at least, like, having what they're doing to me. That is a lot of extra max HP, holy crap. No vampirism, though. So it comes down to like the, how often can I heal at the camp? Oh, those bloom too? You put them next to enemies? That vampire is going to put me in a nasty spot. So it takes so long to, to recover. I may at this point want to put down some of the some of the um, the road lanterns just to slow some stuff down a bit. The vampire, the yeah, the vampires are like the biggest scary thing right now. I gotta, these need to slow down. Wait, what does this do? Oh, no, those are lanterns. I got some other effect that I missed. That'll make my life a lot easier. Does anybody else get the kind of feel that this this the way you play this game reminds me of the first Act Razor game, where basically there's like combat type stuff and you know character management, but then there's also like an overarching like somewhere between city builder and overworld stuff. Does anybody kind of feel that? Gonna put another beacon somewhere though. Or, well, I wanted to say I wanted to put another beacon somewhere that would be like. This isn't. That won't be super difficult. Now I can start putting meadows around this and get blooming meadows. Ooh, that's not looking good. Is there anything I can do about this? No. No, I'm getting hit real hard by the skeletons. I'm going to die soon. That's gonna be it. Wait. More vampirism. Put that on. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you died in battle. Death does not favor the fallen, but it made a little exception for you. You keep 30% of all resources found. Uh, it's a shame I can't choose which, right? I guess it's... 
I'm losing metamorphosis. Yeah. Okay. So it seems that you might be losing the stuff that hasn't formed into a full item yet. Yeah. Fragment. Noticeable change. Yeah. All the stable full stuff you keep. Hmm. So what you could do is then retreat sooner and keep more resources, maybe. I can't believe it. Hey, everybody. The boy has managed to return. Survivors? Does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where did you come from? Is this still a place without darkness? But, you know, that must be part of the loop as well. It must be something like... <clears throat> You could push it, and you could take super, like, big risks and stuff. Or you could just bail, like, sooner, and you, you obviously have to go back, you know, starting from scratch, but you take all your resources with you. We don't know where we came from, or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part that's left from the group, I think. You're not sure. We're not sure. We reached that conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. Every day we find new signs of people that, as far as everybody here knows, have never been have never been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot? Exactly. It's like people disappear every day, and we instantly forget that they even existed. Almost as if we forgot the place we came from, and our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yota. Uh, or Yada, maybe? Uh, that's the part I still remember. Nobody else's memory is in much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait, you said that I'd managed to return. It means that you knew... you knew I left here. That's why it's so important for us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we were able to approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before. But there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted. But we'd be glad if you could help us, and we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you for now. I just want to have a place to return to. A place where I can hear other people's voices. We weren't joking about helping you. Here are the few things that survived the cataclysm, and neither vanished nor were forgotten. You might need them. More stuff, cool. Yeah, all I have is enough for field kitchen. But, you know, more more healing is good. I'll take that. Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food made by a good cook is tastier. What? You're waiting for something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. Hey, there, there are other things that make a good cook, you know. Like not having to clean up as much because you're more organized. Look. I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, and a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. You got yourself a stew. Nothing special. Everything is very simple. But give me a few minutes and everyone in this camp will be running to my table, following the tasty smell of a good stew. Oh, I, yeah, they're teasing. So not only do they say, oh, you can't build this, but they're saying, oh, you you probably could real soon. That's how they get you. Okay, let me take a quick break, hit the restroom, and I'll be back to do a bit more of the demo.
All right. All right, not much to, not much extra for me to do here before I set back out. So let's go do that. Oh. There's a lot more stuff here. So I guess I can't change my class. So I guess this shows what I've unlocked, like what tiles can show up. This is all I've seen so far. Deck building. Oh. What does that mean? It's like, seems like there's a max that I can do. It's see, I guess, I guess then you can do. You need to have at least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're all they're saying basically is you need to have a certain amount available of each type. Crystals that are able to refract not only the light of the rising sun but the passage of dawn itself doubles the effect of days passing on adjacent tiles. Probably don't care too much about the beacons. Crystals, yeah. Lantern I'm gonna hold on to. Well, I don't know. If I play well, I don't need the lanterns. Battlefield, if I have magic, I think. I'm imagining you need magic to fight ghosts. I could be wrong. Oh, I see. So any card that's considered to be a direct upgrade to the to another card just comes along with it. Oh, you know what? Maybe road lanterns are good to have. Beacons and load and and, and road lanterns are good to have because you could put the meadows next to them. Yeah. So I should just do that. I should take them with me. And that'll start up. That'll speed up the early game too. I guess this would be chapter select, and this would be maybe class select. That must be what this is all about. Maybe certain classes only have certain inventory slots or something. Oh, 1.5% damage for each second of the fight. So it basically means if you play defensive, uh, it starts paying off. Okay, enemies get stronger per loop. Alright. Hey, Hal. Yeah, it seems everybody jumped on this game. I'm, I'm late to the party, for sure. I wanted to have a closer look because it was hard for me to understand what I was looking at when I uh, went check when like watching people stream it earlier. first. I'll leave the meadow alone for now, because I don't know where I want to put stuff next to it. I gifted it by a friend and played it instantly. Well, I think I think auto battlers kind of got a bad rap. Do 
don't know if I'm ready to fight skeletons yet. You know what I'll do? I'll fight a, uh, I'll put a cemetery immediately after the camp. Well, I guess I should put one a little bit after so that there's space for it to exist. Oh, I can't put meadows here, so I gotta figure out where I want to put that. Something like this is gonna give me the most... like this. <laughs> Something like this is gonna make the goblins scarier, but... Gives me the most meadows, at least. The most blooming meadows. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to make these work super well. Well, let's not go. Let's not run ahead too, too quickly. I'm gonna try to use the mountains basically. I'm gonna use them such that hopefully each of the each of the rock tiles will will synergize really well. Like putting mountains next to each other seems to be a waste because you're probably gonna get more by putting rocks next to them. Even though you don't immediately get the benefit. In terms of how auto battlers work, I think like if they have to make sure that they they give give you a very good you have to have a very good idea up front, like for me to be interested in them, a good idea up front of what So obviously the battle can happen on its own, so you don't have a lot of direct influence on that. So all the surrounding stuff has to be really well done. And this one seems to be doing that. This one seems to be pretty well done. So if I put a meadow between a blooming meadow, is that also going to bloom? No, it won't. Okay. Magic damage? Counter is probably better than evasion. For the, well, it depends on how many en enemies I'm fighting, I guess. Or I don't know. Maybe it's like maybe it depends on how much HP you have. If you're taking a lot of hits and have a lot of HP. I don't know. They seem they seem very similar. What did I have? That's one, that one's better. So they seem to want me to return to camp, but I'm doing fine. Maybe, maybe that basically means that if you use it then, that's when they give you, like, full recovery, or full, you know, oh, you take everything back. Ooh, that's good. Blood Grove. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Blood Grove. Um, Praise and wounded occupants 
of adjacent tiles may spawn something dreadful from their remains. If you place near a forest adjacent to the road, its roots devour enemies that have less than 50% HP. Well, that sounds like a great, potentially scary idea. Rather than whatever is going to come out of a blood grove, let's go ahead and put some spiders in the map first. Not too many. Yeah, the move music is solid so far. Is there a hockey for speeding up the game? Tab, okay. Perfect. Magic damage. It's starting to sound like I should I should be trying to get myself some ghosts. And see uh, see if magic damage is the key for those. That's such an assumption on my part, but I'm curious. a lot of enemies very quickly. I can always get rid of it. I can always cast Oblivion on it if I really need. Surely this is not going to be a, a massive mistake, right? this all about? So, this is just overall better. Yeah. Solid. Oh man, I'm coming up to a giant mess of spiders and stuff. put down more of these grooves. These are <laughs> these uh these rat dogs are doing nothing to me. Spiders need their hand. Oh I'm fine. The counter that's what's going on, yeah. The counter and the multi hit. There we go. Now I don't know what caused that. I didn't last time I didn't build it in that pattern and I still ended up with a mountain peak. Let just um, let's put let's put a put a battlefield here, and I just want to see. I won't be too far away from the camp when uh, when I fight whatever whatever ghosts show up.
Hmm. I'm not so attack focused to want damage to all yet. I don't know where to put these. Here? That, that'll bloom. Skeletons are a big threat. I gotta be careful about putting too many too many cemeteries down. Hold on, wait, oh, let me read this. This is just a direct upgrade. Well, sort of. I'm losing I'm losing the counter damage. And the damage to all. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Well, I'm not doing super well, but I'm getting close to the camp. Not as much magic damage. Everything else is better on this, though. Let's go for this. More counter, too. Keep looking at the shield like I want to use it, and I know it's not a good idea. Don't know what to do with these meadows anymore. How many cases where I can get a blooming meadow out of them? Maybe getting a, a, a three by three graded meadows will convert to something. I should I should have equipped that armor sooner. Well. It's fine, I'll live. Ooh. Hold on. Damage to all, regen, vampirism. So it doesn't have counter, but it's got damage to all and vampirism. And more damage. No magic damage. I'm gonna take it. I'm 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 unbiased. I mean it's a rapier. I've gotta kinda take it. Fourteen percent counter on that. Seems promising. Gotta keep an eye on my health and just wait a bit. I gotta be patient and just see if... See if I come out of this alive. If I can finish this loop. That's what that- yeah, that sound's trying to tell me that I'm, I'm losing- I'm losing pieces, I'm losing memories. Yeah. 
Nah, I'm just gonna wait. There's no, there's no need to spend. Goblins are showing up a lot though. Quickly, quickly chucking these dudes. Gonna fill this out to see see if this starts becoming anything better. the Emperorism. Better defense. No, da no magic damage. And, uh, this is kind of almost worth it just with the Vampirism. Has better counter. So the better counter is going to make up for the damage to all. Yeah. Let's go with that. Skeletons, though. What are the what? Okay, so what makes them better? Just their damage is just so high. Wonder if I can cast Oblivion on like can I just immediately I can. I was gonna say maybe I can cast it on a on a skeleton right away. You know, because the skeletons are becoming a problem, let me go ahead and just blow one of them away. Or maybe both. Nah, I only got one. Okay, that's fine. Looking a little close. No, not yet. Don't attack yet. Good. You better not. Prism too strong. And these rat wolves are getting way stronger. Looking a little bit desperate. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Okay, all right. Yeah, I should have I should have ran sooner before I before I got to the camp again. I should have just bailed. I'm alive, but how? Thanks to us. A small group of us dragged you here. It wasn't easy. How could you fight off all those monsters? They nearly killed me. That's also interesting. Many of them vanished just before our eyes. Some we managed to avoid, but I think that most of them were gone even before we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected with your memories, my friend. 
Everything falls apart as soon as you're unconscious. Quantum expedition doesn't exist unless you're there to observe it. And yeah, Carson, I'm feeling that for sure. Okay, I'll do one more run. Verdict? I like it. I think it's good. It's it's definitely not the type of game I would normally have paid any attention to whatsoever. Like, normally, what I've seen and experienced of auto battlers had made me think I wasn't going to bother playing any ever. But like the stuff that like even though the battles aren't under your control at all, the amount of stuff that they give you to do. Outside of that is really solid. And yeah, being just a demo, there's probably a lot more. I mean, even just when you see you, you go to build stuff, and they say, oh, here's all the other things we can give you. And I've heard people mention at least two or three other classes. Like, there's some sort of rogue, there's some sort of necromancer. Probably a lot to it. I don't want to get greedy. I want to get these mountains spaced out a bit. Like there's an incentive to basically say build stuff closer to your camp first just so that you're less likely to fight stuff like you'll be you'll be fresher and ready to go before you go to fight things At least something won't spawn on you right before you're about to reach your camp. I know they're not adjacent, I'm trying to fill in with the rocks. Seems like rocks are the most efficient way to do this. You just want to alternate as best as you can. At least, I mean, I don't know, I've not seen any super... I haven't seen or understood any advanced strategy, so maybe there's a way better way to handle this. I'll figure it out. Ooh, way better. What? Much, much better. Beacons are, are definitely speeding up the early game. Like I'm, I might just take this to a, to infinity. Like let's let's go let's go nuts. Watch me regret that, but it feels like a good idea right now.
There it is. There's the mountain peak. Damn, okay, look at that. Maybe there's something where the more stuff you have on the map, the risk goes up way, way quick, but maybe they naturally bring the their word up there as well. Maybe it just... You can play very, 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 very fast, and the game will come with you. Considering the enemy level only increases per loop, maybe there's a, a strategy where you basically say, you know, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and place as much stuff as possible early, while the risk is low, and get big rewards early on. That seems like a great idea, actually. If I had magic damage, let me put down, you know what? Let me put down a, 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 a blood grove and just see what this ends up doing. Surely that's not a bad idea. Don't know about cemeteries, though. Well, let's just do it. Let's increase the risk right after camp and see if we can, like, beast mode this. Uh, no battlefield yet, though. Maybe you want to put beacons places where there's going to be lots of slimes. It's like the start. Maybe that's a strategy. Like, speed up the slime fights. Oh, you know what? Maybe the reason why you want the beacons out is because the beacons speed up your movement and everything, but they don't speed up the, pro the, the day progression. That's, it's probably, that's probably something like that. So you put beacons basically to loop you around as quickly as possible uh, before stuff spawns again to get to doing more and more stuff. But you also have the problem of, like, the qu the quicker you loop, the quicker each spawn, like, the stronger each spawn is going to be, so it's like... It forces you to quickly reach each battle before things spawn too quick, but you don't want to go too quick because you don't want to fight super, like, the, the casual spawns that you do get, you don't want them to be super, super strong. Something like that. Yeah, that's what, kind of what I'm looking at. It's like, it's the speed at which enemies spawn versus the strength of each spawn. Big magic damage, though. Shining him. I want to get a nine by uh, a, a three by three set of nine of these things, in these meadows, and see what they become. Let's actually pump the damage this time. Hover over the enemies. You want to see if the UI is the same in the demo as the final release. They uh, they have basic stats. They have their their special properties and their and their buffs. Yeah, I don't know how that looks in, in the full release. Not as much damage, but you get magic damage and and we well, get counter out of that too. All. Yeah, I'm just cr oh, that's the effect. So. When stuff is getting caught, that's the blood grove. That's what I saw that effect earlier, wondering what it was. I thought it was a 
a buff your, your character had. But it's not. I feel like Chrono Crystals on the slime seem like a good idea. They, they should be pretty easy to fight. They've never been hard. Maybe they don't even scale. Alright. Maybe they have to be regular meadows, not the booming ones? Also work on the meadows. The problem though is that I'd have to put meadows like next to the chrono crystal. Like I'd have to put it I'd have to put the crystal somewhere close enough to the meadows. Maybe there's an easy way to do that. Okay, so nine doesn't do it. Yeah. It's not like the the mountain peak. Slimes definitely seem to be scaling. I wonder if counter is not, like, damage reflect. I think it's your own damage happening. Again. Yeah, I, I don't think it's damage reflect. I think it is literally you hitting again. See, if you, have, if, a high, if you have a high damage build, then you want counter, probably. No, yeah, I know there's Blooming Meadows. It's just... I wanted to see... The reason why I built this out... And, and bear in mind, I'm trying to learn some of this stuff on my own. But... The reason why I haven't been doing um, them here is because I wanted to see if I ended up with some sort of special meadow like the Mountain Peak. And so far there isn't. There isn't like... Special big meadow, or I don't know, I don't know what you would call it, but... Don't know if I'm doing enough damage to want vampirism. No, no, I am. I am. But I want magic damage. I don't want to compromise too much magic damage. 16% though is pretty hefty. And it's a big defense. I heard a sound that I didn't recognize, and I feel like maybe I accidentally spawned the big nasty dude with the, uh, the Blood Grove. Maybe it's- maybe it's just- okay, maybe- maybe it isn't necessary- maybe it's really, really rare. It speeds up some of my combat. I should- I... I gotta spawn a cemetery somewhere safe, away from everything. Or not a cemetery, a um, a battlefield away from everything else. Yeah, somewhere where there's only gonna be slimes, just to see if I can fight ghosts and what those are all about. The rest of this, I'm not gonna worry too much. I'm gonna just wait. That is a lot extra. If I if I wasn't trying to focus on getting my damage up, I would I would start equipping some of that other stuff. Oh, they were they were running me over. And 
Yeah, I gotta go blow something up. I need something. I need to get a camp out of the way or something. I need to minimize that risk for a bit. More counter though. Gonna lose a lot of magic damage. Treasury. Oh, this is going to get close. Oh, and I've got to go fight goblins soon, too. Uh, well, probably going to end up killing me. Be okay. Soon, please die. <laughs> please. Okay. Less counter. Same evasion and a bit more, a bit more damage. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, it's fine. I got close. That was like the last time. The last time I barely got out of the camp. This time I barely got to it. I gotta be ready to run. Punishing me for all that greed. Yeah, I can't make anything new, so I think I think that'll be it. But yeah, that's solid. I like it. I think it's good. I'm glad I didn't immediately rush into it, because I wasn't sure what uh I wasn't sure what I was gonna make of it, but it is solid, yeah. This is, I think this is the first, this may be the first game that I would consider to be an auto-battler that I've really dove into in any real degree whatsoever. And I like how there's so much, like, I was worried that, I was worried that the lack of direct control of the battle would give you, would create a scenario where you didn't have enough to do, where you didn't feel like you could affect things as much. But all the surrounding stuff is is great. Like all the, I mean, all the you know, the real beat of the game is basically all your city building and all your uh, like character management stuff. But yeah, it's good. I like it. <laughs>